राधे राधे हरे कृष्णा हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आवर चैनल परमानंद माधवम टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू वॉच हाउ वी कैन प्रिपेयर महाप्रसाद फॉर आवर लविंग राधा कृष्णा एज यू आर ऑल एवर ऑफ दैट राइस खीर इज द मोस्ट फेवरेट फूड आइटम ऑफ राधा एंड कृष्णा सो वी हैव टू प्रिपेयर इट वेल एंड डेलीकेटली एंड ऑल्सो मेनटेन हाइजीन एंड प्योरिटी so without wasting any time let's start first with the ingredients to make rice kheer prasadam of 500 grams of milk we need 50 grams of gobindo bhog rice broken cashew nuts few raisins few pistachios and at about 25 grams of sugar or plum candies In a kheer preparation milk is the most important thing and here we have taken half liter of cow milk Always remember to take rice and milk in a proportion of 1 is to 10 as this proportion is very important for the preparation of a good delicate kheer. Before start the cooking, let's condition the ingredients. First, clean the rice properly and leave it for soaking in water with half tablespoon of pure cow ghee in it for a few minutes. Also, clean the cashew nuts and raisins and soak in water. The gobindog rice when soaked in ghee and water gives a very good aroma so always use this combination when you are preparing a special kheer now let's move straight to the cooking part our cooking time is about 25 minutes first pour the milk in a container and bring it to boil on a simmer flame you can also use the medium flame if you are in hurry but don't do too much with the higher flame because milk make cut burn and you have to stir continuously and you have to wait until the fast rise of the milk the milk gets stuck at the bottom or at sides uh then it's it, it has a very good chance to get burned and once the milk gets burned it will leave a very bad smell that will spoil the whole thing So now as we are seeing that the milk is rising now simmer the flame and add the soaked rice into it Now here we are adding the rice with a little bit of water and ghee into the milk From here on we have to stir constantly so that uh, the milk and the rice on get stuck that we have added the rice milk and the ghee it will leave a very good aroma and this aroma is liked by lord krishna very much uh, one or two minutes we will add uh, cashew nuts into this milk uh, so that the cashew nuts get softened Now we have to stir the milk continuously so that it will become thicker and thicker and also we have to keep it in mind that the milk and the rice on gets stuck to the bottom of the container or to the sides One thing to remember here that don't add any extra flavor like bay leaf cardamom or any other artificial flavor in the milk the lord krishna doesn't like any natural or other artificial flavor other than the milk rice and ghee from here on we have to maintain the burner in a low medium flame and continue to cook until the rice cooked properly we have to continuously check whether the rice get cooked or not okay and when the rice is cooked we will see the rice will come up it will become more and more visible when the rice on get cooked properly it will remain submerged into the milk but when it get cooked it will become more and more visible it will come up now if you see properly you can actually see the rice okay so this means that it is properly cooked now as we are left with two main things the sugar of palm candies or and the raisins 
Now it's time to add the candies, the sugar palm candies into this mixture. Okay, so we will now add the sugar and palm candies. Okay, palm candies will add an extra flavor. Palm, you know, palm has an extra flavor and that's very good and it's liked by Krishna. So if you get palm candies, that is okay. Otherwise, you can add sugar candies also. We will take about two or four sugar candies cubes here that will constitute 20 to 25 grams that is okay for 500 grams of milk so we will add it and stir continuously until the candies get melted uh, we can feel we can feel the candies inside the milk as they are very hard it will take two to two minutes uh, in the sema or in the medium flame to get them melted so stir continuously uh, like here we have a sema position here so it will take time uh, and, and from here we have to uh, we have to handle this very delicately because uh, from here on the milk will get more thicker and has a very high chance of sticking so we remain cautious from here and stir continuously until the candies get melted and when uh, now we can see here that the candies are melted now we will add the raisins okay uh, here is a tip for you that don't get add the raisins earlier because if the raisins are so that will coagulate the milk so and now stop the burner because our uh, cure is ready and we are done here with our process of cooking now we will pour the key in the serving bowl and now we, and then we'll proceed to garnish it okay and we'll garnish it with crushed pistachios on top of it here we have poured the kheer into serving bowls now we'll add uh, pistachios to top it also add rose petals and saffron to decorate it well now we are ready here it's complete and now we will go for serving but before serving we will now refrigerate it uh, to settle it to cool it down and after 10 to 15 minutes we will serve it to Krishna thank you very much for watching our videos we will hope you will join us again on another interesting videos of cooking and serving it to Krishna okay do like and subscribe to us thank you very much for watching Radha Radha Hare Krishna